Well, breakups can be tough to deal with, and of course, they're surging during the pandemic, unfortunately. Yes, but thanks to a new program called Renew Breakup Boot Camp, healing from a breakup just got a little easier. Nice. Please welcome Breakup Boot Camp founder, Amy Chan. Hi, Amy. Amy, so nice to see you. Now, uh, well, first, let me ask you about the breakup that led you to create the Breakup Boot Camp. Yeah, so 10 years ago, I was with someone I thought I was living the dream. And to me back then, the dream was date, get married, and live happily forever after. But the universe had a different plan. And when that ended, I went into a really dark place. I put so much of my identity in him and us. I didn't know who I was anymore. And so I really struggled to try to heal from that. And as I was able to kind of move through the stages of grief, I realized that um, other people going through this sense of helplessness and hopelessness need the tools. And so that's what deci I decided to create the first ever breakup boot camp. Breakups what? are brutal. It is so hard to heal a broken heart. What happens at the boot camp? So yeah, we have a team of 13 experts ranging from psychologists to behavioral scientists uh, to even a dominatrix who oh. teaches on the psychology Wait. of power <laughs> dynamics. I just got and over the breakup. These, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. So they come uh, and for four days are in programming. We have an on-site chef that cooks all the food. We have a psychologist that helps them shift their patterns and understand what are the subconscious beliefs that are causing the same emotional patterns to repeat over and over again. We teach them the tools of anxiety. How do you cope with anxiety? And also when you go through withdrawal, we have breathwork classes that help them move trauma out of their body and we bring sex educators and again i mentioned a dominatrix who teaches on power dynamics so okay <laughs> that's a lot and you've got six stages i just got dumped right what's the first thing i'm going to do about it so the first thing is you're going to go through shock and there are six, six stages and you have to understand the healing is not linear you're going to bounce back and forth between the different stages but you need to kind of go through all of them and the very first thing is don't judge your emotions as good or bad that just adds an extra layer of shame and it causes you to stay in a certain stage for much longer than you actually need to what about throwing yourself a breakup party what does that look like how does it go down yes <laughs> when someone's going through a breakup I'm excited for them. I know that sometimes a breakup is the shakeup you need to redirect your life. So what I suggest is get your closest friends on Zoom and record it and have each person go around and say, what do they love about you the most? And, and what is something they see for your future? And in those moments when you're going through withdrawal, when you want to contact your ex and when you're feeling lonely, watch that video again. That's going to give you that dopamine and those feel-good chemicals and remind you that you are loved and you are awesome. And just because it didn't work out with this person doesn't mean that you're not an amazing human being. Absolutely. And Amy, there are specific rules, too, that you suggest I think are really smart that you should apply uh, when you're dealing with this breakup. Can you go over a couple, please? Yeah. Number one, do not vilify your ex. If you are stuck blaming your ex, psychoanalyzing your ex, hoping for your ex to change, you are still in a relationship with your ex. Right. And so sometimes we hold on to the pain as the last attempt to hold on to the relationship. And it puts you in a role of being the victim, which is disempowering. Mm -hmm. Number two, do not feed your emotional monster. If it's okay to feel your emotions, process it, but feeding it is when you put Coldplay on repeat. And then you watch <laughs> Love Actually, right? And then you tell the story about what happened over yeah, and yeah, over yeah. again. That's making that emotional monster bigger and bigger. And lastly, please, do not stalk their social media. That's right? the Don't hardest. create a That's Finsta. It. That's the hardest. Don't do it. Do not do it. Do not do it. <laughs> No. They're out at brunch looking so happy. They're not that happy. Yeah. <laughs> Amy, I have a question. Is do you, I know it probably varies obviously for everyone, but is there a sort of a time limit you give it? Like if you were in a relationship for let's say two years, it usually is six months before you get over. Have you gotten it down to a science, something like that? Is there some sort of time frame you usually like to put on it? Yeah, so it's, you know, every situation is different, but from what I've seen, between six to eight weeks is when the emotional intensity starts to subside. That's when the shock starts to wear off and you start to accept the new reality. And is there a lesson from all of this? Clearly a lot of self-growth within a breakup. I think that it's very 
uh, common for people to try to close their heart after they've been hurt, right? Whether you've gone through a breakup or you're just disappointed in dating and not meeting your person. Um, I really, really encourage people, you know, our greatest lesson in this lifetime is to practice opening our hearts, even when it hurts, especially when it hurts. Do not take a breakup as, you know, a slight on you as a human being or your self-worth. That's just not your person. And so, you know, learn the tools, know that you can get back up, know that the pain will eventually subside and open your heart. That's She's awesome. Advice. Amy, this great is advice. great stuff. Yes, thank you so much. That was a lot of fun. I Amy, love the great boot advice. Camp. And listen, for more information about how to deal with a breakup, you can check out Amy's book, Breakup Boot Camp. And up next, style expert Melissa Chetain has got some not-to-miss deals, and that's going to be next. She had to have done That's a good thing.